Hey, hey, assistant coach, how are you guys doing? It is me, Johnny Sports, and welcome to the season finale. It's time, boys. This is the last FIFA 15 career mode video you will see on my channel, apart from the Crystal Palace roundup video, which I'm hoping to post tomorrow. But boys, this is it. So if you guys enjoyed the Schalke career mode just a little bit, please go ahead and smash that like button. That would really mean a lot to me to get a decent amount of likes on this video and end it up properly. So we have four matches in this one. Two in the Bundesliga, one in the German Cup final against Augsburg, which might be the easiest match out of those. And then we have Juventus in the Champions League final. A lot of people were looking forward to see us winning the Bundesliga. And that is exactly what I need to do right now. The first game of today is against Hanover. 96 or Hannover 96 as some people in Germany or not some people everyone calls it in Germany and we are starting off in the 16th minute with a nice header of Griezmann not even jumping up right there standing and trying to figure out the perfect way to head it and if we win this game and the next one we are champions simple as that but it's still a long way to go and Chupo missed another chance right there we could have scored an easy header, but he was just not able to get it on target. Hulk now with the shot, and this time it's his right foot, so that one doesn't go in. We are moving on into the second half. Leroy Sané, let's get this one going. We are making some changes, and I'm hoping that some of these players might actually have an impact on the match. Hanova now on the corner kick, it's the 62nd minute, the defenders are not able to get it away. It's a terrible moment for Schalke, at home in front of our fans, we have conceded against Hanover and we are just not allowed to lose this game, so Leroy was now stepping up his game. He is moving forward, trying to get our team to score. We are on ultimate attack, or sorry, all out attacking. And Ruben Neves with the skills will pass it over into the middle. Leroy Sané with the fancy shot. Should have taken a normal shot, but my hand was still on that button and we are still getting some new chances. Griezmann in the 71st minute, it is getting very, very close right here. We need at least a draw to still have a chance to win the title because Bayern Munich will definitely win their game. Sané is running through and he will take the shot to score it. It's the 77th minute as we score with Leroy Sané. He gets past the defender and he does take that shot perfectly this time. So it is 1-1. And we are moving into a new attack. Hulk with the pass to Griezmann. He's through on the right hand side. He will cut inside. Has the space to take the shot. And it will be a shot onto the post. 90th minute. That could have been the winner for Schalke. But now we are only getting a draw. And Bayern Munich once again has the chance to get past us with a win. This, this opens up a whole nother level of excitement for the last match. Bayern Munich have won their game 4-0 against Kaiserslautern as you can see there. Terrible, terrible match against Hanover. I should have won that match. I don't, I really don't understand how was I not able to win it. Bayern Munich now on 72 points, uh, Schalke on 71. And take a look at the top scoring list. No one is really competing with Griezmann. But here you can see Bayern Munich is actually playing an away match against Borussia Mönchengladbach in their last game. And that is really important because this is the only chance that we have. We need to win and Bayern Munich need to draw or take a loss. They are not allowed to win their game. And Gladbach is currently sitting in the fifth spot. They do not have an easy opponent and that means we do have a slight chance to still win the Bundesliga and move on to try and win the treble. But in this last match of the Bundesliga we start it off the way we left off the match against Hanover we were still under attack 21st minute there's a free kick for Schalke and this one was going to be taken by Eremenko. Chupomoting doesn't really have the best free kick accuracy, so I gave it to 
Eremenko. He will take it and he will take it very nicely. It's 1-0 for Schalke and we are on our way to get the three points against Hatta, a team that is truly not the best in the Bundesliga. The team that is from the capital city but still they are not as good as a lot of people would expect a capital city team to be. Griezmann right here had another big chance but we are still moving forward. I was on attacking and I really wanted to score one more goal. Hulk with the shot right here but that lands straight on the goalkeeper. And in the 45th minute right before half time it's Hatabe SA on the attack. It's a header coming in. Luckily that one didn't hit the target and now let's take a look at the result of Borussia Mönchengladbach and Bayern Munich. This is the big one. Let's see. Halftime score is 1-1. Borussia Mönchengladbach is able to get a draw but there is still 45 minutes to go. We are so relying on what kind of a score Borussia Mönchengladbach will get if they do actually go ahead and draw the game against Bayern Munich. It is guys with another goal. Another long shot kind of goal from guys this time. It's a shot that lands on the defender and still somehow goes in. So we are making sure that we can win this match. But still, Borussia Mönchengladbach is the team that we need to perform on this match day. I'm subbing in Eremenko, uh, subbing off Eremenko and Leroy Sané is joining in. And guys, this was, oh man, this match was so important for me. But my head was at Gladbach all the time. Yes, we scored once more. We are still trying to get as many goals in as possible. Thinking about the goal difference and stuff like that. So I really didn't know how the goal difference looked. So I was trying to score as many goals as possible. But the one thing that was always on my mind was Gladbach versus Bayern Munich. Would Bayern Munich not be able to score another goal? Would Gladbach be able to hold on to that draw? We just don't know and it's just a waiting game right now. Ah oh man, when the referee blows the whistle, we will all know what happened. 90th minute, it is Hatta BSC on the attack and now the ref is getting very close to blowing the whistle and that's it. No, it's not. Hold on. 90th minute again. Boys, we are in the extra time. And referee, come on. Blow the whistle. Yes, he blows it. And we are champions. We are the champions of the Bundesliga. Gladbach have gotten a draw against Bayern Munich. Oh my god, I can't believe it. This is so intense. The first trophy is rolling in for Schalke. Right now, the only thing I can think of is thank you so much, Borussia Mönchengladbach. You guys have saved my ass right here and made it possible that we can move on into the uh, German Cup final with being the Bundesliga champions. Yes, we have done it, boys. What a season this was. A really nice uh, closer and man, what a performance, incredible stuff, but there's still a long way to go for us. We still have the German Cup in this episode and the Champions League final. The German Cup, I'm looking at it as, let's say, a match for the reserves team. Yes, right here you can see Borussia Mönchengladbach actually conceded once more, but they could score once again. So that game ended 2-2. And Bayern actually lost their spot to Borussia Dortmund who are just one point behind us. And this was the most intense league finish I've ever had. I mean two teams that are just one point below me. That's sick. And to be honest after that game against Hanover I thought that's it. We have lost it. We have not been able to grab the title away from Bayern Munich. We have not been able to dethrone them but we have been able to do it. And I'm really glad that we are moving on into the next game, which is the German Cup Final against Augsburg. And if you guys can see, this is my team. And this is a team filled with talent. I wanted Leroy Sané to be the captain because I want him to raise the trophy if we win it. I know I'm putting a lot of pressure onto the youngsters, but I knew that I could win the match against Augsburg without my first team players because I wanted them to be on the bench. I don't want anyone to get injured in this one. So hopefully no one will get injured and we will move on into the Champions League with the German Cup and the Bundesliga title.
We did start off pretty well with a shot on target, but here Lestien gets the ball off the opponent. Ruben Neves with a pass to Maximilian Meyer. Maximilian Meyer gets past the defender and scores! It's 1-0 in the German Cup Final. The youngsters are able to get that first goal in. And that means a lot to them. I know that this team was filled with a load of talents. Draxler, Meyer, Goretzka, all these young talents. And we have given them a chance and they have taken it so far throughout the whole season. And Lestien with some really nice skills passing it to Leroy Sané. The young legend, the captain in this match, scores a goal in the German Cup Final. Good job, good job man, I love you and I will miss you in FIFA 16. Maybe one day we'll see each other again, who knows, because on FIFA 16 he's a 70 rated silver card. So he might be a good talent to use in FIFA 16 career mode as well. I'm really looking forward to see what kind of a haircut he has. A really nice passing play by the way from Schalke right here. It's a 3 on 1 situation, it's a cross inside and it's another goal for Leroy Sané. 3-0, that's it, we have won the German Cup, there's no way Augsburg is coming back into this. And let me finish the sentence I started before this goal. Uh, I'm looking forward to see what kind of haircut uh, Leroy Sané has because he normally has like an afro, so hopefully he will have that. He would be an amazing player to use if he would have an afro on him because I really like those players in the game if they are like fast with an afro and stuff. And we were able to score another goal with Maximilian Meyer, 4-0 in the German Cup final boys. In this one I wanted to honor the talents of this team and I wanted to let them play and obviously Leroy Sané, the captain, will raise the trophy in this one. Good job by him, number 10 on his back. A lot of people were saying, why don't you give it to Draxler and stuff? But I still kept the number 10 on his back. Even though he's not a central attacking midfielder, I really feel like he deserved it. He was the super sub of this series and he will have one more chance to be the super sub in the upcoming Champions League final. And this game, this Champions League final, that's that's really important to me. I really want to win it because winning a treble in the second season, I don't think I ever had that. I'm not sure, but I don't really think that I've ever won the treble in my second season with any team. And especially with Schalke, the team was not really good. They had a lot of players that were like decent, but I mean, they were high rated and stuff like Huntelaar, but in the game, they are useless. So I'm glad that I was able to change this team into a very high rated, amazing club within like two seasons. And I really love every single player in this one. And I'm really glad that I was able to take them into the Champions League final. This is the cup that we want. And this is the team that we are playing. Juventus with Chiellini as their captain. And let's take a look at their starting lineup. This is their starting lineup. Loris in goal. Then you have in front Tevez, Mandzukic, Pereira, Marquisio, Vidal, Azamoa, Evra, Chiellini, Bonici and not Bonici, Bonucci and Cáceres. So we are moving on to see the real deal. This is Schalke and obviously I'm going with the standard formation that we have gotten used to and with the players that we have always played throughout the whole season. This team could win the treble in this match. So let's see what we can do. We do start off with some nice fake shots from Triple Moting. And it is Griezmann straight away in the fourth minute. We did get a chance in right there with Griezmann. But sadly, he was not able to take off the shot. And we are moving on into another attack. Nice passing play from Schalke. It's again another pass through. And this time Buffon is able to get to it. So... We had a very big chance right there. Should have maybe taken another touch to try to get past the goalkeeper, but I couldn't do it. So Juventus are now moving into their attack. It's a pass into the middle and you can see Azamoa and it lands in front of Arturo Vital. Vital with the shot and he hits the post. We are getting very lucky in that position and you can see it is still Juventus on the attack. Mansukic with the pass to Azamoa. Azamoa on to the left hand side. And Tevez. Wow, what an attack from Juventus. 
and they are now going for it. You can clearly see it. 45th minute, Hugo Mayo with the pass to Hulk. Hulk with them skills, trying to get onto the wings to cross it in. No, he does cut inside. Hulk with the shot. And sadly, he does not hit the target. And these are the half-time stats. You can see that it's basically 50-50 on possession and also 50-50 on chances. We had two shots on target. They had two shots on target. And we're moving into the second half, not knowing what will happen. And on the right-hand side, Hugo Malo now made a run, passed it to Griezmann. Griezmann with the cross in sight. And Chupo somehow fell on his face right there, tried to chest it. I don't even know what he was trying there. Moving on though into the next attack, Juventus in the middle, losing the ball, Teixeira looking for Griezmann, he gets the ball, drags it back a little bit, waits for a perfect run, Teixeira gets the ball right in front of him, and he doesn't score, it's a big chance, probably the biggest chance in this match. And we were just not able to get it done. Juventus now on the right hand side. Pereira and another chance. But this time it's our goalkeeper getting to it. It was time to make some changes. Sané, Lestien and Halilovic joining in. The players that had just won the German Cup. I was hoping that some of them, at least one of them, would be able to get an attack going and score. It is Evra on the left, he loses the ball, we are in the 80th minute, it is a pass over to Lestien, Lestien is using his pace, he does see Griezmann in the middle, could he score this one? Yes he can, it's 1-0 in the 82nd minute, Antoine Griezmann scores the goal in the Champions League final and gets it done finally after these chances that we had and more importantly after all the chances that Juventus had we were able to score a goal the first one in this match and hopefully the last one because I don't want to concede but assistant coaches, I have to disappoint you. Juventus in the 84th minute. Evra on the right hand side. He will now cross it in. Tevez rises to the occasion. Heads it in. No, he doesn't. <laughs> you thought I would concede right here. Yeah? No, I'm not conceding a goal. We are in the 19th minute. Extra time. Referee, blow the whistle. Yes, we have won the treble. Champions League title for Schalke after being lucky against Juventus because they missed a load of chances and we have won it we have done it assistant coaches Whew, this was a tough one Herbertus our captain will raise the trophy he is the player that was the highest rated one at the start I believe I don't think we had anyone higher rated than him but who cares guys this is him raising the trophy all the youngsters, all these players, all these established big players like Hulk. I mean, we have created an amazing team all together. Thank you, assistant coaches, so much. I have to say, the Bundesliga title race was the most fun for me. It was so fun to see us actually drawing in that uh, game against Hanover and still winning the title against Bayern Munich and Borussia Dortmund who in the end actually came in in second place because of goal difference but it was so much fun this season we have created a few legends like Leroy Sané and I have to say Griezmann was my favorite player in this one I will definitely use him in FIFA 16 again Obviously not straight off the start because that would suck having the same player over and over again But I really want to use him in FIFA 16 as well because he has been so successful for me in this one But assistant coaches all in all FIFA 15 career mode has come to an end and this is my question to you guys What was your best career mode that you have done in FIFA 15? Let me know your story of your best career mode in the comments down below let me know which team you picked. Let me know in which leagues you got promoted to. And did you have a Road to Glory career mode where you took like a League 2 team and took them into the BPL, won the league, won the Champions League title and stuff like that, created some own legends. So let me know in the comments down below what was your favorite FIFA 15 career mode that you played at home. I will read through the comments and every single story I read, I will drop a thumbs up on your comment letting you know that I actually read it. So assistant coaches, this is the final squad report, Schalke 
You have been so kind to me. Honestly, I really like this one. I know it might have not been the team to use to get new subscribers in, but I really had a lot of fun with this and I'm glad that I actually chose this team. So thank you guys so much for all the support throughout FIFA 15. I honestly couldn't thank you guys enough. I'm now on like 96.4k subscribers and uh, I have started off FIFA 15 with like 15k. So it's been a long journey. It really has been a long journey this year and I have to say it was the best year on YouTube for me like ever. And I really hope there is more to come. I really look forward into the future. I really look forward to post some amazing content for you guys. Did you just see Griezmann's statistics? 44 games, 30 goals and 20 assists. I've never had a player that played so well for me in any of my career modes. And even when I played on like professional, I never had anyone perform that well. And now he does it on legendary for me. So Griezmann is the player of this series for me personally and right behind them we have Leroy Sané but I mean I'm so close to 100k with FIFA 16 I will probably reach it straight away at the start when the game comes out that's just the way it goes there's the FIFA 16 hype and everyone will just sit down relax and enjoy the new game and watch some new content new ultimate team content with foot draft as well and I will definitely have foot content on my channel. Just letting you guys know in advance, uh, when FIFA 16 comes out, the things that I will do are my uh, FIFA, 15, uh, FIFA 16 career modes, then FIFA 16 best young player reviews, and then we will have foot content. I will have a series on Ultimate Team based around young players. I'm still working on it, but you guys will hopefully see it very soon. Thank you guys so much, man. I really have... I have taken this time right here at the end of the video to just sit down, relax and have a talk with you. Every single one that has watched this video till the end, I honestly feel like you guys are my little bros or my big bros. I don't know how old you are, I'm 23 and I have to say your support has made this year, especially in my life, the best year ever. I. I certainly couldn't say how happy I am right now. I've got all of the things sorted that I needed to sort in my life. Uh, things about my citizenship in Germany and stuff like that. So I'm really glad that I'm finally able to get things done on my own. That I have like established myself as a grown-up. Let's say it that way. And I'm really glad that you guys have supported me on this way. And I hope you will support me on FIFA 16 as well. You assistant coaches are literally all that I have and thank you guys so much, honestly. Thank you all so much for watching, have a nice day and peace. We'll see each other in FIFA 16.